Hi guys, my name is Delta Miner, and today this video will be slightly different. I'm doing all of this off the script. Initially, my plan was to make a video where I will be playing the game Walking Simulator 2020, except it didn't work out. For some reason, the game just broke my recording software, so instead of proper recording, my recording just turned out to be the sound effect of the image. So since my one hour recording of a game playthrough didn't work, I was like, you know what, since I can't play your game, I'm gonna make one. And so I joined a game jam. And what a game jam is, is an event where participants create a game under certain constraints, usually with a time limit or a team they need to adhere to. And the one I joined was Godot Wild Jam number 40. Because I had had some experience with Godot in the past, I thought this jam might work for me. It goes from 11 September to 19 September, so that's a week. I can make a game in a week. I've never made a game before with Godot. So today in this video, I'll be talking through my process of making a game in the Godot engine. Also, I just realized I haven't talked about what Godot is. It's basically a game engine, and a game engine is a software you can use to help make games easier. So without further ado, let's begin. I woke up in the morning and went to the Godot Wild Gem number 40 page on itch.io. There was the team, Cozy, and along with three wild cards. Now, wild cards are a feature that are specific to this game jam where they are an optional limitation to add a unique challenge in addition to the team. Basically, they're just extra conditions to add on to your game if you want extra points. Being to have a splash screen, add content that's only accessible after winning at least once, or an overworked where you can just need occasional break. And luckily for me, the characters need breaks idea reminded me of a game idea I had way back when, which is inspired by this comic by Altered, also known as Shen, where it features four different forms of you know, energy consumption, I guess. And my idea for the game was that you'll be playing a character that constantly runs out of energy, where you have different energy pickups, each with differing effects, of course. With rest giving you the most amount of energy, and energy drinks giving you no energy, but just making you caffeine-induced. I also begin with the idea of making the game a platformer game because I like platformers, they're fun, they're simple. You can find how to make a platformer game on Godot on YouTube. But other than planning out the game, I didn't do much. So on to Sunday. I didn't do anything. I had my time into making the Plant vs Zombie Brainiac Maniac Electro Swing Remix video. Which by the way, at the time of recording, has over 120 views. If you're one of the people that watched the video, thanks guys, I appreciate it. So on to Monday. I spent the whole day finishing up the same video that I just talked about, so again, no work was done. I'm a total mess. On Tuesday, I finally got to work. I downloaded a sprite sheet for a character walk animation. I'll link the website that I got it from in the description. I didn't pay for it because I'm poor. I also immediately just edited the heck out of it because I was like, I don't really like it. And my character ended up looking like this. Those are pajamas, by the way. I added a blue dot because I thought that would be cool. I will call them baby because that's just what that looks like, an infant. I also drew a spreadsheet for this worm enemy that would attack the player and cause them to lose energy and fall asleep. And I also added a little nightcap, is that what it is? On Wednesday, I changed the character spreadsheet again and I also made the first level map of the game. I also decided I would like it for the worm to turn corners because that's really cool I think. And also, stairs. So on Thursday, I finally made the spreadsheet for the task that the player has to do in the house. And finally, we have furniture. And for some reason, the worm started to bug out. Pretty ironic because, you know, it's a buggy bug. Oh, brother! So I implemented spawn points for the enemies. And then I managed to make them killable. But then when I wanted to make them be able to kill me, I crashed the game engine. I have no idea what caused this. And that was a very painful night for me. Considering the fact that at this point, I only have 3 days left to complete the game. Luckily for me, I was able to fix whatever the heck was going wrong with the game at that instant. And I was able to finish making the first level on the 6th day. But I think this is also a great time for me to just explain better what the game is about. So in the game, you're playing as a child who is extremely sleepy. You have the stamina of less than a minute. But unfortunately for you, your mom's gonna come home in a few minutes, and you didn't complete the chores she told you to do. And even worse, sleep worms are here to make you sleepy. I, I don't know, I, I can't explain why these things exist. But yeah, that's it. 
On Saturday, I rushed to make the remaining levels I wanted in the game, which were 10 levels in total. And yes, on screen you're seeing me trying to use Photoshop to create the levels instead of making a map editor or you know whatever tile map things they use to make games professionally. And the reason for why I'm using Photoshop is I don't have time to learn new stuff. I was rushing. It's my first time. Be nice to me. By the end of the day, I was able to complete all 10 levels that I needed and there was only one day left. I don't have a menu. So I immediately got to work on making a menu and I'll say it looks extremely mediocre. That's better than nothing when you have only one day left. I also added text boxes as well as tips in the game so that the player will be able to learn and play the game without having to go through instruction boxes which I personally feel is a much better way of making a game because I for one hate reading. With only a few hours left, I decided to get the rest of the wild cards being that once you complete all 10 levels, you will be able to choose any power up with any level. I also made the splash in wild card and it looks like this. I know it looks kinda bad. I made it under 1 minute update. For some reason, it doesn't show properly on each dial. So sucks to me being, I suppose. And finally, I added some music to the game. Being for Alice, Rap's Lullaby, and Sonata Number no. 8 Petite Third Movement played on the melons. And with 5 hours and 20 seconds from the deadline, I submitted my first ever game. The link to the game will be in the description below. I hope you do check it out and I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, that's it, bye.